Okay guys, I guess it's gonna be part three because that movement was really freaking me out and I don't know why I was doing it. So I'm gonna continue showing you my bags. Anyway, I showed you this one first. That was the one that I got for vacation. This one I got years ago from Walmart because I thought it was so cute. It is a makeup bag. It says kiss and make up on it with little lips. This one's made really well. It's made out of a nice canvas and the inside is really nice. And there's like metal in here, just kind of like those little coin purses. And I didn't pay much for this either. I think it was like $3. But it's adorable and I'll never get rid of it. I think that's like most girls' excuses. It's adorable. It's adorable. Next is my Michael Kors bag. This was a treat for myself for my birthday um, a year or so ago. Beaut I love it. It's an animal print bag. It's got the Michael Kors emblem on it. What I like about this is I can change the look of it. I can have it stay like this or I can take these leather straps, put them down. I normally prefer it the way I just showed you. And then the bag looks like a tote. Everybody wants this bag every time they see it. But I normally keep it with the sides down. Because that's just how I like my bag. If I can get it to do it now. There we go. Good boy. That's my Michael Kors bag. I want to get one of those beautiful watches, but they're so darn big. The girls' watches, they're too big for my wrists. But um, that's it. Leather. This is a canvas. And it's got little feet on it. And I hear change in there. But yeah, I love my Michael Kors bag. I got a pair of Michael Kors shoes. Oh, I love them. Michael Kors is just so classic. I love Michael Kors. Next is a bag that I got when we were in New York City. Every time we head to New York City or Manhattan, I have to get a bag, whether it's Chinatown or whatnot. But I picked out this one. I got my mother a pink one of it. It is a Dickies. That's what it says, Dickies. I'm not being gross. And I love it because there's little crowns on it and stuff. When I first got um, Desi, this is the bag I used to put her in. And she used to just sit in there and, you know, be quiet before she started getting mouthy. When I mean mouthy, she just, like, barks at everybody. She's not a mean dog. But this is great. Just, you know, run around, vacation kind of bag. I like that one. Next, I bought this. It was more of an impulse buy, I think. Yeah, I paid full price for this, which is rare. I got it at TJ Maxx. It was compared to $128, and I paid $60 for it, which is cheaper than the normal price, yes, but even at TJ Maxx, I try not to pay full price. This is a Juicy Couture laptop case, but you can use it for other things. I just loved the style of it. It's very sturdy. There's Juicy Couture on it. I love all these details, and it's got this strap. I just love it. There's the J on the back. Let me see if I can open. Like I said, I don't really bring my bag out anywhere. And then, oh, I still got the Juicy Couture. Whoop! Paper on the inside. If it was one of those. I would use this for more than just my laptop. I just love the look of it. It's so structured and it's a great bag. I would use this for work. But it's a velourish um, feel, so I think this would get dirty pretty easy, and um, I don't like that. But I love it. I really do. I will use this eventually. When the right time comes, I shall use it. This is another bag from New York City. Like I said, I always have to buy a purse when I go to New York City. This is the last thing I bought, actually, because I haven't been in New York City in a long time. About five or six years. I'm trying to remember the name of this bag. I think it was a Candies. I don't remember. I don't remember the store I got this in. Whoa, did it get dark. Anyway, it's this really cool metallic bag. Look at that. And like, I don't know if you can tell. It's got like this animal print on it. It's kind of like a leopard print or a zebra print. And it looks similar to a Juicy Couture Daydreamer. It's got these pockets on the side. What I love about it is that it's got two zippers for two different areas. I love this bag. I used the heck out of it. Even though you really can't tell. Um, I think 
I paid 25 or 30 dollars for it but it's really cool it's not a designer bag or anything I think it might be a candies I don't remember offhand but I wasn't looking for a designer bag I was just looking for because they have some of the funkiest stuff in New York City whatever you want you can find it there so that's why I have that one next I got this from Bath and Body Works it's the Paris Amour I got it for like $20 it's just a tote bag with a zipper. You've all seen this. I've hauled this bag. I just got it like a few months ago. Not even. Yeah, about a few months ago. So I haven't used it yet. It's a nice canvas bag. This is one of the bags I took on vacation. This was a gift from my mom. It is a white Playboy bunny bag. It's a date, you know, a traveling bag. This thing holds a lot. But it never holds its shape. It always looks funky. That's a pretty bag. There's a heart. I got this for my birthday a few years ago for my mom. Next, this was with another Ed Hardy purchase. This is a yellow bag, and it is filthy because it's been through heck and back. And I love it because it's got the female on it. Um, I love his skull work and his koi fish, but you see them all the time. So I wanted bags that um, didn't really look like that. Of course, these ones were with the purchase of a perfume. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. And it's huge. This is great for the beach. And I just think this is beautiful with her coming out of the rose. I like that. Okay. Next was last year's um, Black Friday bag from Victoria's Secrets. Pretty self-explanatory. I love these bags. I can't wait for this year's bag. I'm looking forward to this year's. And this one I used on vacation religiously. I got this on clearance at um, Marshall's in Ed Hardy. This one does have a skull, the love kills slowly, and it was just like the perfect nautical theme for Cape Cod. On the back says Ed Hardy, so if you wanted, if you didn't want to show the skull, you had this one with just about every outfit because I was wearing a lot of leopard print. And it held everything. There's actually still sand in the bag, I gotta clean it. But it is huge. Great bag. And I paid $15 for it. That was the clearance price. So, I mean, this was the other bag I used for my vacation bag. I've had this for years. I bought this at Burlington Co. Factory. It was, back then, I paid like $50 or $60 for it. Um, I was in college. I had two jobs. So, you know, I splurge. I had been looking at this for weeks, and I finally said, what the heck, I'm going to buy it. It's a baby fat bag. It's got all these cool detailing. And... I used this for, um, I went to management classes, so I took this bag because I had to go away for a week to do them. It's, it's just me. It's got the grommeting, it's got bling, it's black. I, I love it. And now, I use it when I go on vacation. Like, this house is like, I guess this would be considered like your bag if you were going, um, like on a plane, your carry-on. This is kind of like my carry-on bag that's with me, next to me in the car in case we need anything. And that's this one. And next is my Victoria Secrets bag from two years ago, Black Friday. I use this a lot, especially running errands. Um, it's a little dirty on the back, but I'm not getting rid of it. I'm the only one that uses it. I love all the silver on it. I like the new one too, but I think I like this one better. It's got, um, I think it was better quality. We'll see how this year's is. Hopefully it'll be black with pink. How cool would that be? Okay. I could do like one or two more bags before we move on. Next we'll do my Fendi. Old. This is like a vintage Fendi, I think. I've had it for a long, long time. Just a tiny little strap back, and you can see. Fendi. It says on the little clasp. But I mean, I've had this for so long, I don't even remember. But it's a crossbody. It's a great little bag, like, you know, when you're traveling kind of thing. I feel like the leather is, like, giving away on it. But I love it. It's so cute on the inside. I always wanted a Fendi because, like, all the women in my family have Fendi. So when I finally got mine, I was really excited. Come on. It's so pretty. Roma made in Italy. I like this bag. It's tiny though. It's the only thing I don't like about it is that it's so tiny. 
but that's okay. All right, we're gonna do part four now, which I didn't plan on, but that first video was driving me crazy. So part four, here we come. <laughs> 